Hi, I'm Mike with Bard Tech Support, and this is your tech tip of the day. Have you ever had, had somebody ask you to uh, give them a call back and not leave you their phone number or maybe send you some information in an email but not, not give you their email address? Uh, frustrating. You really can't, can't take care of the problem and, and take care of the, the person or the customer if you don't have that little bit of information. With a supervisory controller, it's the same thing. There's a little piece of information that a lot of people forgot, forget to put in there that is crucial to um, the operation of the supervisory controller, and that is the total number of units on the network. If it doesn't know how many units are on the network, it doesn't know how many it's gonna control. Well, how do you know how many units are on the network? Well, you can have up to three zones. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna add up the total number of units in each zone. So if you have zone one, you have two units. Zone two, you have one unit. and zone three, you have three. It's two plus one plus three. That's gonna be the total number of units on the network. And that's the information that the supervisory controller needs to control the whole network and keep the units coming on in sequence and leading and lagging and doing all their things. So how do you put that information in? Well, it's really quite simple. So what we do is we hit the button over here for the menu and you're gonna to have to put in the password or pin number. I'm gonna use 9254, which is the highest level. Nine two five four, and I'm going to go into system config and hit enter. And under general, that's where we're going to go. When we get into general, you're going to see right here general settings A one dash one, and it's going to say total units right here. That's where you want to put in. This has three units on the network. You can see that here. But if you hit enter, it's going to drop the cursor right down there, and you can use the arrow up or arrow down button to get the total number of units in your network. Then you hit the enter button. You scroll all the way through there till the cursor is back up in this left corner and you're done. You can hit the exit button and you should be good to go. And that's your tech tip of the day.